Hello. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> yeah. Hello everyone, good evening. I hope you've had a lovely day today. How are you all doing? Thank you for joining. I hope somebody will join us soon. I am sure somebody will join us soon. So who's going to be the first person to Reverend Rosalind, how are you? Good evening. Hello. Hello T Y. How are you? These are old faces that I haven't seen for a while. But well, welcome guys. Thank you for joining. Bamishaye Victor, Dr. Bamishaye Victor. Victor, good afternoon. How are you? Taiwo, good evening. How are you? Thank you for joining. Thank you so much. <laughs> the Dr. Victor has written MJ. Thank you, Dr. Victor. Thank you very much. Guys, as you're coming in, please do us the honors and share, share, share. And also, please don't forget to invite people. People like to be invited. I sure like to be invited, especially when I know a friend is watching and that person is inviting me. So I feel really privileged when somebody, honored as well, when somebody invites me. Ade Wale, good evening. Thank you for joining. Hello, Gunti more. I'm seeing your name again. Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you for sharing. Please, guys, do the honors and share, share, share. Today, we're reflecting again, and we're reflecting for the fifth time on the series on truth. We're, we're going to do this reflection for a long time, simply because Dr. Sunday did this series um, with over 45 titles, and that is in excess of probably 70 hours, because it's usually more than an hour teachings um, during the evening. So this is 45 titles, it's available on YouTube, Sunday Adelaja Official. That's Sunday Adelaja Official. If you go to YouTube, type in Sunday Adelaja Official and you would see his face. You see Dr. Sunday's face and he would have his blue, blue blazer or jacket, whatever you want to call it, and a green shirt. So click on that. Once you click on that, you see the playlist in the home page. So go down, number 34 would give you this series that we're discussing now. And it has over 45 titles. And you know, this series on truth is so important. We realize how important it is that this is really the foundation of our life, is the foundation of our belief, of our faith. And if we don't have this right, then many things might not be right. So that's the reason why we're spending so much time on the reflections. And also, guys, please don't forget, you can join us in this reflection. It doesn't have to be us talking all the time. We like your engagement during reflections. So you can call Julie Ingoya on, his messen on her messenger. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> on her messenger, um, Julie Ingoya. She's actually written up there now, so you can see her details. Or just click on her name and go to messenger, and you'll be able to talk to us if you want to join in this reflection conversation secondly you can also write your comments as you're writing now some of you are writing to say hello hello so you can also write and give us your opinion on this series on tr of truth or on truth so the power and force of truth is series number 34 on youtube sunday adelaide official so let me say hello to a few more people because i know that i stopped at some point um hello paul how are you good evening Miss Song, hello. Hello. Good evening. Ebenezer, hello. good evening. Hello, Jane, good evening. Yinka, good evening. Thank you for joining. Gift, good evening. Onyekache, good evening. Thank you for joining. That's Emmanuel. Good evening. Thank you for joining. So I would ask you then again, please do the honors and share, share, share. Thank you for doing that. So let's start on, on this uh, series. Dr. Sunday, do you yeah. want to do the introduction? No, actually, maybe if you can run us, give a quick rundown of all the levels, because this is the main focus of our discussion this week, at least. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I will do that, Julie. So, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sunday started this series. Uh, I'll just give you a, a short overview of when he started this series. It started on the 10th of July of this year. So, and it started with the five levels of truth. I mean, prior to this series and these levels of truth being thought to me, I didn't know anything about the five levels of truth. What I knew about truth is either you're telling the truth or you're lying. And the truth was, yes, I think I have an idea that was absolute, even though I don't use that word in terms of truth, but I know that that's 
everything that I want. I wanted to know the truth about everything, but I didn't know how to go about it or even that the truth really mostly must apply more to me than wanting to know truth about other people until we started this series. Mm -hmm. It ended the series sometime in, um, in August. Actually, it was just last month that it ended the series. So um, it ended on the 20th of August of this year. So that was over 45 days, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And each time it was more than an hour. So do the maths is almost the next, almost the next of maybe a hundred hours, I think, by the time you do the calculation. But um, this series was so important that, you know, in this reflection, we really have to do a thorough job in order to be able to cover everything that was covered in the series on the fourth the power and force of truth. Mm -hmm. So Judy was saying that I should um, remind everyone about the um, levels of truth, um, what they are. Uh, well done. Levels of truth. No. So I will do that, okay? Dr. Sunday said that there are five, he didn't say, he taught us on the five levels of truth. The five levels of truth, Number the first level is the truth that you sell, tell yourself about yourself i mean that was enough for me the truth that you tell yourself about yourself do you know again i'm going to say this i don't think i even tell my truth, myself any truth or if i have it was not consistent and it was not something that i consciously practice yeah on purpose right yes. we don't do that on yeah. purpose yes yeah. so this was really uh, an eye opener for me to see this or to hear this and then to be taught how to do that, what that means. Mm -hmm. So the second step or the second level was the truth that you tell yourself about another. So again, this is still about me. This is about self. So the truth that I tell myself about another person. So, and then the next level is the level, th level three. And it's the truth about yourself to others. So this is the truth that I tell about myself to others we discussed this in a little bit more depth yes uh, a few days ago that was on friday mm -hmm. so that was interesting and then there's another one which is level four the truth that we tell about another to the other i was getting this a bit confused even though i i, I was in the old series in the class should i say um, I was sitting through the old series, but this number four, I had such confusion with it. I was thinking that is the truth that I tell about another to the other. So, like, tell somebody. I was thinking about gossiping, basically, my, like telling somebody else about another person, not knowing that I'm telling. You know, you know, I got it confused yeah, I the other it. day. So it's really about telling the other person the truth that I know about them. So it's not telling a third party, just telling that person. I don't know why I think it's the truth that I tell about, about, about I, 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 the truth I tell about another to the other. It's very clear, but for some reason I'm thinking I should tell somebody else. But not that I did that or I was doing that. Maybe I do that sometimes actually. But <laughs> it's the, the matter is that I didn't understand this. And this is after sitting through all the series. I thought I knew it, I understood, I, I get it. So this is a lesson, lesson for me and lesson for all as well. So if you think you got this series, I think it's worth going back and watching it over and over again. It's really worth doing that. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it would form you to be a healthy person, uh, a balanced person, but also would help you because if you're like me thinking that I understood from the first onset when it was taught and I didn't understand it really, especially this level number four. Then the next level is level five, which is the truth you tell to everyone about everything the truth you tell everyone about everything and this for me is the opti ultimate level that i think that maybe some of us start from actually you know i feel i brand myself as somebody that tells the truth but that's it i tell the truth to other people that i see about everything i know i do that but i was not good i, I wasn't practicing level one to four and because I wasn't doing that, I, my delivery was wrong, uh, my attitude was wrong, and people were not receiving me properly. And this was really affecting my life and my relationships. 
without knowing. Not until this series I realized that because I haven't told myself the truth about myself, I haven't told myself the truth about other people, because I haven't told um, um, the number three, I haven't told myself the truth about others or the truth about another. I haven't told another the truth about the other, you know, in one-to-one -one relationship. Then jumping to number five, I was just finding it very, very tough. Um, um, socializing with people, being around people. So if I did all the processes and I, I, I've imbibed all those processes in my life, it wouldn't be so challenging. But thank God that Dr. Sunday started this series and I have a better idea. Now I know what my problem is with people or what my problems are with people. Um, it's so glaring that, you know, now it's just about me working on myself. The other observation that we had was that the last, uh, the first one, two, and, and, and one and two, especially, or I would also say three. Okay, one, two, and three. It's really about me. It's really about yourself. So if there's anything that we all need to remember is that these levels of truth is really about working on yourself mm -hmm. before you go out there to do anything with other people. So it's about working on yourself. And it's not something that you can just do in like one go. It takes a lot of practice. Yeah. You know, and it's a really good way to say, be the change you want to see in the world. Mm. You know, just like Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, but Mahatma Gandhi has said, we have to be the change we want to see in the world. But how do we do that? And it's, it can be applied to everything. This is yeah. this type of truth that really is absolute because you cannot start changing something else or changing someone else without first of all changing yourself, changing your understanding, changing the way you see the things, changing, you know, growing as well and acquiring ideas and everything that is needed, all the resources that are necessary for you to go and finally change what needs to be changed outside. So it really all starts from the inside out and I think these five levels of truth bear witness to that. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, that's a really good quote that we should be the change that we want to see in the world mm. and how do we why how do we become the change only by us changing ourselves and making first. sure that yeah. we're changing ourselves first mm -hmm. and making sure that we are at, at a level that we would like other people to be towards us yeah. you know so if you want excellence you have to give other people excellence all the time if you want truth from other people you have to give other people truth all the time so whatever you give Think of it as the law of sowing and reaping. So yeah. whatever you sow, you will reap. You yeah. know, I mean, this is in the Bible actually. Yeah. But the other thing, if you're into, if you're like a biblical kind of person and you think that you know everything has to be related to the Bible and to God, which is true, and you want examples from that, there's so many examples from this series um, yeah. in the Bible, and even itself, the truth itself is God. You know god himself is true so if you start from that basis you're not going to feel as though you need to compromise or there's any room for compromising on this um understanding on truth you will know that it's something that if you love god and you love yourself this is where you really need to start from before you can start really being who you're supposed to be mm -hmm. we also related this series to purpose that not until we really start looking at ourselves in the mirror. The truth yourself is to tell yourself about yourself. Just automatically give me a mental image of being in front of the mirror. Because I really, you, not necessarily that you have to stand in front of the mirror, but if you really want to practicalize this, maybe it is worth doing. I mean, I think in some ways I do this. You know, when I sit down at night or when I lie down at night after the whole day, and I've done everything that I need to do, or even when I didn't do anything, when I, I haven't done everything I need to do. When you just lie down, you just reflect with yourself. Yeah. But do you still tell yourself the truth? That's the thing. So maybe I reflect on what's happened in the day, but I don't make this assessment of, did I behave correctly? Did I do what I was supposed to do? Would I like other people to treat me the way that I treat other people? Even when I get to, when I get away with it, mm -hmm. you know, is what this does what it tell you about yourself? Self, you yeah. know, what can I develop about myself? Mm -hmm. What areas? What are the things that I did that I wasn't so proud of that I could improve on? What are the, what are the things that I was very proud of? Because one thing also we discovered about this was that it's not only on negative things. 
because we tend to look to look about the issue of truth on somebody lying yeah. yeah and in a critical negative way but it's not necessarily about negative things it's also about positive things mm -hmm. and i give an example with women where you know especially when we're compliment when somebody gives us a compliment i do this all the time rather than accept that compliment and say oh thank you for you know what you've said and you know i think um yes it's true or even if i don't say it's, a tr it's true just say Thank you, you know, mm -hmm. and I you just know it for yourself, yourself that it's true. true. Yeah. But you know, what do I do? And I think many women do this. They would say, "Oh, it's not a big deal," or "Oh, oh that's I not true." Yeah, or, I could, don't, don't. Yeah, yeah what's the word? <laughs> I could do better. Don't exaggerate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just say, "Oh, this is nothing." Mm -hmm. You know, you just play yourself down that yeah. this is nothing. Yeah. You know, I think maybe it also borders lines on pride as well. You know, because when yeah. somebody tells you something. And you can't receive it graciously. You feel like you need to say something, and whatever you need to say has to be maybe final or maybe negative mm -hmm. or even not true mm -hmm. itself. In more, itself. More in the yeah, sky, so. yeah. I think sometimes it's pride. You know, we can learn to. I I've now start to practice that when somebody says, you know, you do this well, it's like just say thank you rather than oh yeah yeah. It's just uh, you know uh, really. You yeah, think so? yeah. <laughs> you know, like you know, just, just accept it. Yeah, be just grateful. accept it and yeah. just be grateful. Let it be. And yeah, yes. And it, this is this series on truth that also made me realize that that I do that a lot, and you know, it's something that I really need to improve on. And also, I so we're just trying to tell you now that it's not only about negative things because when we again when we speak about truth, we always speak that we always speak in the, in the context that there was a lie somewhere, but it's not usually that there's a lie anywhere. It's just accepting that truth, engaging in the truth, imbibing the truth in yourself, and being strong in it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think this is a very empowering series. So if you don't, uh, my recommendation is if you don't actually go through any of the series that Dr. Sunday has done, if you're new on the channel or you've never been to any of the series, I think this is the one that is worthwhile. It is very detailed. There's a lot to go through, but just take it in bite sizes. Think of this as a, as a project that you're, you want to apply. You want to become who you are. You want to become you know, who you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I think this series will really definitely help you. Yeah. And I also think that this series, together with a particular <clears throat> book, which some of you, if you know me already, to some extent, you will know that that's one of my favorite books from Dr. Sunday, which is, or my favorite book from Dr. Sunday, <laughs> which is, um, who am I? Why am I here? Who am I? Why am I here? That book is excellent. So this book and um, this series together, really, you will discover something about yourself. You will discover something beyond your imagination about yourself. It's worth discovering your purpose. This will help you discovering how to apply your purpose, how to apply yourself in this world, in this kingdom. This series will help you. So the truth series and the book, Who Am I? Why Am I Here? Uh, a combination that really will serve you well so the book you can get on amazon you can get amazon.co.uk.com whichever amazon wherever you're watching us from you can get this book it's available now and the series is free of charge you can download it you can do it into bite sizes if you like you can re, re uh, organize it in any way that you like just go on to sunday adelaja official Dr. Sunday gives everybody the free reign to go on his um, YouTube and, um, rec and um, download the videos. If you want to download it, if you want to watch it there, watch it there. Do whatever you need to do for you to attain the best you, the best, the best version of yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and for you to live a very happy life. So go ahead and do that um, at your own pace, but the sooner also the better. And also invite other people to go on the same channel and watch and because it's not just about this series there's so many other series there there's series on finance on relationships on um growth on managing children on you know marriage so many things everything that is important to any living being you would find something there to help you so go ahead you go ahead go ahead 
and um, and watch this series live on um, watch watch the series live with us now and also you can go on YouTube to get it after so guys would anybody be engaging with us and asking questions or giving us a comment or giving us a call we're really waiting for you to do that so please don't hesitate to do that we look forward to that to uh, to you engaging with us whichever way or method that you prefer we'll be here waiting for you so the first so let me go through this again because i think i went through it with interruption i was interrupting myself telling you how i feel about them so the five that's levels first section, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the five levels are the truth that you tell yourself about yourself that's not level one the truth that you tell yourself about another that's level two the truth that you tell about yourself to others that's level three the truth that you tell about another to the other that's level four and the truth that you tell everyone about everything that's level five so those are the five levels julie i think we haven't talked in depth about level four. five is it five we yeah have to because about? i was gonna say that we actually did level four on friday not level five not level three so we did speak about the truth you tell another about the another we actually did. We actually did talk about the okay. truth you tell another about, about another. Really? Yeah, we did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this this is so interesting. It's like, you know, we could discuss this again even if uh we have the we could have the opportunity to discuss it again, but since it's the fifth day, maybe we should go to the level five yeah. and discuss that. But I, I I don't even remember the really? Oh my god, we my did. Right. Anyway, the truth that you tell another. Yes, we did. Oh we my did. God. Yeah. I'm sorry. I we, we did. We did. I remember now. Okay. Tell your truth to everyone about everything. Mm -hmm. So again, this is where I I start from before I knew these levels of truth. So the truth that you tell everyone about everything. Yeah. And my understanding of that is that. Um, you are just a very honest person and everything that you know and everything that you see that happens on a day-to-day -day basis You don't compromise at all with it. It doesn't matter who is around. It doesn't matter who um, Says it. It doesn't matter how it happens You just tell the truth that you see your best friend as dr. Sunday says in his quote is the truth and the only allegiance that you have is to the truth so regardless of who is around who is saying what what the repercussion of what you have to say would be you stick to the truth and you tell that truth and you tell it all the time so that's just you everybody sees you if they're going to do something that is wrong they will say wow don't let us do it in front of Julie because Julie will tell the truth Mm -hmm. So that's what my understanding is of this level. Interesting. So I agree with this, um, especially when you're talking about the fact that you are your allegiance is to the truth, and it doesn't matter, you know, where it is or where it comes from. When it is the truth, it is the truth. That's also what I understood from this uh, level, especially because um, it reminds me of Jesus. This is what he was doing, and if you were there yesterday evening for the 9 p.m. broadcast you may have uh, kept in mind that this is what Dr. Sunday was talking about mainly, that Jesus came to bear witness of the truth. So this is what you do, um, or this is what you, what I understand with the five, fifth level, that is when you talk, when you tell the masses, when you tell everyone the truth as it is, the absolute truth, the non-personal truth, nothing that is subjective or that you think could be right, but it is something that is absolute, that applies to everyone. That's why it's important that it has to be spoken to everyone. And that's why, you know, um, I also think it's very vital what um, what Dr. Sunday is doing right now with this uh, series on, on the hijacking of the church, of Christianity, and the rise or um, the rising of paganism. Because he's talking to everyone. He's not, you know, speaking to people individually because this is truth that has to be applied it has to be known to everyone 
You know, think about it from that perspective, especially someone who may criticize Dr. Sunday about, you know, talking about um, the atrocities that are going on in the church. But we are talking to masses because this is absolute truth. It has to be known by everyone. So this is not, it is not exclusive to a certain group of people or an age group or Africans or Europeans or whites or, or adults or not. It has to be known by everyone. And we have to really understand that because this is so important. It is very important because we all have the right to know the truth. And we all deserve the truth. And we all should fight for the fact that we know and we should know the truth. So to me, this level is really, really, really important. And it shows me how much responsibility we have as Christians in mm -hmm. particular. Yeah. That we should never compromise or keep the truth in our own close circle, that we always have to be sh make sure that we spread the absolute truth everywhere, everywhere we go, because the, f the fact that we got to know that truth is also a blessing, you know? So as Christians, we're supposed to bless everyone else with the truth and the, the resources that we've, we are given. So this uh, fifth level to me is like a, it's like, um, how can I say? It's like an umbrella for the Christian, you yes. know. It's for life. For I life, think. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, speaking from a Christian perspective, and, you know, especially because we are spreading the truth of the gospel, we are spreading, we are trying to do what Jesus told us to do. We are also supposed to witness the truth and spread it everywhere. So, um, it's very important. It is our assignment, basically. Yeah. Um, Julie, that's really great. And, you know, one of the things that you said is that imagine if we all told ourselves the truth. That's really important. It might sound like just a few words in a sentence, mm -hmm. but that's really where we need to get to. It shouldn't be an imagination. It should be how life is. Yeah. Because we all love the truth and we want the truth for ourselves. But then why is it that we also don't share the truth with other people? Yeah. So if we are expecting other people to tell us the truth, then also we should live by the truth too. And, you know, I, I know that we are Christians, but I don't think this is a matter of being a Christian or not. Because if we are saying that it should be a matter of Christianity or if we're Christian or what Jesus taught us. Yes, it is what Jesus taught us. Jesus is a very good example mm -hmm. for the whole world. But once we start saying that this is what Christians should do, then we are, we are going to be interacting with non-Christians. Yeah. We live in a world where non-Christians are. So if they don't get this because they are not Christians, then where would we be? We would be frustrated. Yeah. My ethos in life is that regardless of if you're a Christian or not Christian, there's certain basis. If this thing is good for life, it improves your life, then everybody should imbibe it. It's not a matter of um, religion, faith, sex or anything is a matter of living of being human yeah. so if you're a, a human being that wants the best for yourself then also other human being you have to give them the best so that they could give you the best what you sow you will reap it's not i i think like yeah the religion we're lucky that we have a religion that tells us the truth but we should be that light as it says that we're the light and the salt so being the light and the soul, salt is not saying that if you're a Christian, then you should receive this and be the light and the salt. Yeah. It's be the light and the salt, regardless Everywhere. if you're yeah. a Christian or not. So if we meet non-Christians, our expectation is not going to say, are you a Christian so you can be the, I can be the light and the salt to you. It's that this is the truth. This is absolutely the truth. The truth is not religious. The truth is not a Christian. It's not a Muslim. It's not anything. The truth is absolute. Yeah. It would work for everybody regardless of you being a Christian or not. It is universal. You know, it works in Saudi Arabia the same way that it works in England or in a Christian country. It's regardless of your religion. It's regardless of your faith. Mm -hmm. So, and if we are believing that we want the truth for ourselves, unless if we just want to be in our corners, which is exactly what God doesn't want. Why he says, don't forsake the assembly or assembling assembling <laughs> yeah because i've been told this assembly i know we said before i have issues with grammar <laughs> but if don't forget because the pastor made that clear uh, dr sunday made that clear a few days ago assembling 
you know and he didn't say assembling of just christian it says brethren so that mm -hmm. could be anyone anyone in england in fact teenagers called each other brethren like when they use street slang they mm -hmm. say brethren what's up brethren you know that's what they say to each other so regardless if you're christian muslim whatever your faith is you must abide with this truth yeah and this truth will work for you yeah. whatever god you believe in or you serve this truth will work for you if you practice it. It's a process. It's a, what's it called? Procedure or... Um, a, lifestyle. Yes, it's a lifestyle. It's, 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 it, there's no, it doesn't fail. It's a fail-proof method. Yeah. Whatever. But, that's, but that's why I wouldn't say it works for you. Then it will work because it's absolute. Right? Yes. It will work. It will just work point And it, it would work regardless of your faith. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So anyone that's hearing this, you forget whatever you practice, even if you go through this, this um, series yourself and you go through telling yourself the truth about yourself, telling yourself the truth about another, telling this about the truth about another to yourself, telling yourself the truth, uh, te telling yourself the truth about you to another, telling uh, other, another your truth about another to another. Yeah, another to other, that's four. And everyone, and the truth about every everything, or everyone about everything. So tell the truth about everyone to everything, mm -hmm. like, about everything also. So this is not um, something that we can take lightly. I think our life really depends on this. The quality of our life depends on this. If we apply this with everything that we do in life, I don't think that we can ever fail or be unhappy about anything because we also know that the truth will fight any battle and it was always absolute. We don't need to worry. You don't yes. need to fight anybody because yes. you're standing on yeah. the truth. That's what I love about this level especially because it gives you so much peace because if you know that you're talking the truth, the absolute truth, all you have to do is release it. That's it. Just release it. Don't fight it. Don't impose it on anyone. Don't force someone to accept it or not. Don't, you know, brag about it or whatever. Just release it. Yes. And then it will take care of the rest. Yes. It will take care of itself. If someone doesn't want to accept it, they don't want to accept it. But it doesn't change the fact that it is the truth. Yes. And if you are convinced about that, it should give you peace. Yes. So that's really the cornerstone of you know, knowing if what you know is truly absolute. And it's the same as um, the example of gravity, right? Nobody has to fight about it. I don't want to. I don't have to come and yes. and force. Dr. Sunday used that example, like, exactly. You know that. You know, if anybody it's saying that gravity is not, you know, if you everything that goes up must come down, and they want to jump off the, you know, ten floor. Yeah, they will find out that it's not that case. You know, so. exactly. So you <laughs> don't have to worry. You don't have to convince anyone just make sure that you communicate it in a way that it's going to be understood and it's and the truth and it's the truth and then your work is done yes and you don't use you, you also I mean I think for us um, what Julie raised just now in terms of what she loved about the truth being that you know you don't have to fight for the truth you fight the truth we fight for itself I think this is one of the pivotal thing about Christianity as well where you know um, other religion, I, this is not about religion, but you know, other people think that they need to fight for the the God and say certain things. Yes, we need to speak out and speak the truth. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Yeah, you know. But in terms of having fighting and slaying somebody, or if they don't accept that rule, we make sure that we pin them down, or we capture them, them or, or hate them or yeah. anything. We don't need to do that. And yes, maybe this is where the Christianity comes into in terms of the truth. But every religion also, if they choose to, they can also decide that whatever they believe, whatever God they believe, let that God just fight for himself and the truth will, will, will prevail. So as Christians, we always believe that, but we don't practice it. We say that, yes, we profess it, but we don't practice it. The other thing we discovered about the truth was that when we tell ourselves the truth about ourselves, is a way of being honest and naked in front of God. You know, because that moment when you're telling yourself the truth about yourself and you're accessing, making assessments is the moment where you're with God in yourself because nobody else is there. It's just you. Mm -hmm. So this is another method of prayer. And this is one method of prayer that really will work for me. 
because I'm not very religious and I've always had problems in the church when they're praying and they're shouting and doing this. I couldn't do it. I've never been able to, um, to cultivate that habit where you're praying, you're praying. I don't even know what to say. I end up repeating myself. Mm -hmm. But if this is my own prayer where I look through myself, I look through what I have done, what I have not done every single day or as things are happening and I'm making that assessment and I'm becoming naked in front of God where I'm saying the truth to myself about myself because God is in me as a believer, then actually what I'm talking to is I'm talking to God. You know, so I'm not just talking it to myself like a crazy person. I'm actually talking to God and I'm sharing my own prayer. That's a method of prayer. And that was just such a good thing to discover that mm -hmm. you don't have to, you know, go on your knees and then start praying and, you know, shaking your head and doing all the things, all the gymnastics that a lot of people, Sweating. yes, people love doing and they can continue to do it. God doesn't say it has to be one way, but for people like me that I don't see any value in things in this, I cannot do it. Once I start doing it, I get distracted. Maybe I, you can also start with me where I'm just telling myself the truth, mm -hmm. the absolute truth, because I'm talking to myself now. There's no need for me to hide from anybody. How can I hide from myself? You know? And if I'm not hiding my, for myself, I cannot hide from God, you know, because the God is inside of me. So anything that I'm conversing with myself or I'm, I'm discussing with myself, I'm actually discussing it with God because God is inside of me. So that gave me a lot of, um, it gave me a lot of strength, mm -hmm. even just discovering these levels of truth. And I hope that it's something that will give you strength as well, because I, I used to feel so guilty that I wasn't praying enough. I wasn't, um, I was not close to God in prayer. I didn't ask God for everything in prayer. I wasn't the person that before I go out of the house, I would have prayed. And, you know, I was told in church that if you don't do that, that you're living your life to danger. And sometimes I will already be in the car driving and I remember that, oh, I haven't prayed today. Mm -hmm. And that happens all the time, all my, all my life, really, from childhood to adult to an adult. And, you know, I used to feel so guilty, but now I don't feel so guilty anymore. I know that I'm with God all the time. You know, my prayer is like my reflection, you know, just like we're reflecting now, we're having this conversation, but I'm going, I'm doing it based on these levels where I'm going through the level one of the truth that I tell myself about myself. I do it anywhere, mm -hmm. you know, even if an incident happened immediately, I start to apply this and it really helps me. And I, I consider did I do the right thing there? You know, how could I have dealt with this situation better? What would God have done? If you, you know, what would, what did God expect? Is there anything that I can learn from this? You know, how can I develop and become better? So this again is another tool for you to pray. You know, this is your praying tool. This is um, a way to pray, get to know God and have a relationship with God. And this is another way to, um, to, as, to, don't forget, don't forsake the assembling of the brethren. So this is another way. If you go through all these five levels, there's no way that you wouldn't be assembling with others, with brethren. So um, I hope that that would have helped somebody out there. But we're still going to continue on this series. We really need to get away from the five levels and all the other titles that Dr. Sunday spoke about. Not that we wouldn't touch these five levels. We will still touch them. But we really need to address these five levels first before yeah. we go on to those levels. Yeah, Has anyone written any comments that is worth, um, well, hey, all your comments, by the way. I always said that is worth reading. <laughs> Guys, forgive me. I'm just, I'm just me, like. <laughs> I hope you're not offended. But I was just going to say that is it worth reading. But everything is worth reading. Yes. So let me read. I'm going to, for that reason, I'm actually going to read everything. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh God, I've just told myself the truth. Yeah. I love <laughs> I Aisha, is it Aisha? I hope Aisha, uh -huh. thank you very much. Um Evangelist says, I love this movement. Thank you very much, Evangelist. Um hello Ojo Pelumi. It's been a while. I haven't seen you for a while. Evangelist Felix, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Olan Rawaju, thank you for joining us and for sharing. Guys, please do the honors and share, share, share. We love when you share. And the more people, the merrier. Ufoma, good evening. How are you? 
um, Informa is saying hi to everyone and saying hi to us. Thank you very much. Aisha, I really want to come and I really want to be, become a, an articulate, uh, an articulated like you both. Thank you very much. Thanks, Aisha. Thank you. We appreciate that. Uh, I, you know, I have to caution myself not to say something um, that is downgrading what you've just said there, Aisha. You know, because it's so in me, like I do that. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm learning too. Yeah. Nani says we should be a practical Christian. Thank you, Nani. That's absolutely true. And we become practical by applying these things, yeah. you know, every day in our life. That's really, that's a really good uh, point to make. Mm -hmm. um, exactly, Nani said, I think it's to one of our comments. Um, good morning. Okay, you're probably in US or some. Oh, you're from in Canada. Canada. Good morning from family from Canada. Thank you. Good morning, Noni. Welcome. Um, Harmony says, you, sh you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Absolutely. And, you know, saying that word, you, um, those sentences, we say it um, over and over again. I have said that from childhood. But, you know, when we say a sentence like this, we also need to back it up with the action. And sometimes we don't know the actions. We don't know what to do in order for us to know the truth and so that the truth can set us free. It's not by saying the sentence that we, um, we um, achieve this setting free. We is by knowing how to apply the application. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what, Harmony? That application is what we're discussing today. So those five levels are the applications that will set you free. So if you go through level one to five, then you would achieve what is said in this um, statement, which is in the Bible. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Thank you very much for that. Um, Aisha says, amazing and smart. Thank you very much. Well, lovely compliments. Dee says, happy Sunday to you all. Thank you very much, Dee. Aisha says, you both are amazing smart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Princess says, hello, happy Sunday. Thank you. Uh, Aisha again says, absolute, absolutely. Hello, Maiwa. Thank you. Hi, guys. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Mrs. Mr. B. How are you? Haken said, oh, he's just joined. Thank you very much. Justine, thank you very much. Um, Ebenezer says, how are you doing, Queen and Queen and family? Thank you very much. We're all doing hello. fine. Ufaro is saying hello. And good evening, um, Raju, Raju saying good evening, my wife and Julie, with lots of smile. Uh, promise saying hello. Hi. Okay, I think I've read everyone now and I've said hello to everyone. So that's my um, little compensation for saying worth reading. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, let's continue. I hope you guys will still join us and engage and write as many, um, as much as you can if you're not going to call us. Please write, write, write as you share, share, share. Look, I coined another word there. Oh, write, goodness. write, write. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not going to call, call, call. Oh, I've got another word. So if you're not going to call, 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 then write, write, time, write. Aisha is asking, what time is DSA coming live? DSA will be coming live after this show, one hour. That will be 9 p.m. You, uh, Ukraine time, which is 7 p.m. UK and Nigeria time. Aisha, I'm not sure where you are, so if you can just check what time it is. She in... should be Maryland, like EST. So that should be 2 p.m. Aisha for okay. you. Okay, I'm not sure. Just check it out. Yeah. Um, it's 9 p.m. Ukraine time and it's five. It's 7 p.m. UK and Nigeria time. So I hope. That you'll be able to join us for that yeah. um this is the series that dr sunday uh, started um it will be two weeks tomorrow and the series is on the hijacking of christianity and the resurrection of paganism in hmm. the african church yeah. in the african church but going by the comments actually we realize that it's not just the african church it's like in everywhere yeah but you especially know, in African, African churches church. everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, <laughs> join us. It's so interesting. I'm not even just learning about churches or what the practices are. I am learning about what it is to be a Christian, to be a son of God, to 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 love God for God. What God is doing has done for us already. 
who we are in Christ, yeah. if I can say that. You know, when they talk about who you are in Christ, I had no clue until this last few weeks, this last couple of weeks. I really think that Christianity is so easy, so uh, freeing, that mm -hmm. is so good to be true. That's my real depth of thought, that it's too good to be true, to be this easy, you know? The difference between the law and faith, you know, and love, I, I just can't believe it. I just feel so free. So really, this series, don't miss it. If you've missed the last few weeks, I think you should go and watch it, watch them. Every time you have, you can put an extra a, an extra video or an extra um, title into your day. So after you watch or before you watch um, the one for that day, you just watch another one. So that's like two, three hours of your day that will be... Um, invested in this understanding is absolutely worth it so do that guys there's one thing that i wanted to talk about please uh you have to pardon me it's about the video that dr sunday did have you watched that video yet this is a video where he titled i think julie can we ping that up um, yeah let's do it the video is absolutely amazing that video is the one that says a letter to my friends or did yeah yeah to, to my, my friends please don't, don't cry, cry for me. me i mean i could talk about this video for a whole hour already and how even from the incept from the inception where dr sunday is thinking let's do this video let me do this video dr sunday is like snap 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 it's not a time waster if he thinks that something is right he's just gonna do it he doesn't waste time on on it at all mm -hmm. he's convinced so it, when he just came down and said, you know, I need to do a video, I need to say the, something to, to people, we just got the camera and like, okay, do your video. I stood there, my mouth was like this. Who says that? Who says to my friend, don't cry for me? And also relieve you of the responsibility or burden or any challenge you may have just because you know him in such profound way I mean, this is how I think every leader should be. You know, this video to me is not just about telling you something about what is happening right now. It tells you about what we should all be, how leaders should be, how we can make our world a better place, where you would love, say that you have to do this because you have this conviction in yourself. You know that this is the right thing to do. This is the truth to do. And, and this goes with, and, and I think Julie touched on it, where Julie was saying that it goes with the series that Dr. Sunday is treating right now, which is the truth that you sell, um, which is the title that we just told you about, the hijacking of the church. But relating that to the truth, telling everyone about the truth, which also relates very well to what we're discussing now, level five of the truth, which is the truth that you tell everyone about everything. And the way that it stands so strong so solid on the trick that he knows and he's just telling i mean doing the video and just suddenly just saying um this with the quotes that he was giving us um that the truth is my friend you know and um the other my only allegiance is to the truth i couldn't believe it somebody is saying that you look beautiful today julie I oh think you should say thank, you. thank you so much Dino. <laughs> <laughs> so the truth is sorry about that I was just a little bit distracted saying it, but Julie didn't see it so that is really important you know to just say that my allegiance is to the truth mm. truth is my best friend this is what I need to do it's not only the words that he used but it's just the way that he articulated himself the yeah. way that he spoke for me I just opened my mouth I've never ever in my wildest dream just think that it would, this was possible to even be able to release people, people that I respect, that I love, that I consider my friends and my family, to release them and walk my own walk. Mm -hmm. Really, I think this is when, you know, this is what it means by saying that carrying your own cross. Yeah, this is what it is when you're a revolutionary, when you're a reformer. And I think this latest, with this video, everyone should know Dr. Sunday and should know that he is a reformer and that he is he's glued to the truth. I mean, who can say that about themselves? Because you have to, how do you detect that? How can you make up someone and say, oh, this person is glued to the truth? 
But he goes to the extent of making a video to give his friends, the people he respects, the opportunity to detach themselves from him because all he cares about, all he is assigned to do is the truth and yes. this is everything for him and you know the other thing is that have you finished sorry no, go for it go the for other it. thing is that he, he was so he was doing it with such um love and confidence yeah it's not you know sometimes you tell your friends that oh you can do whatever you like but if those friends choose to do whatever they like it's you like you're, you get angry yeah. that wow you're <laughs> doing this but he's saying it with such love that i understand you you don't have to take my path yeah. You don't have to even believe in me or defend when me. me. You know, don't don't defend me and always having to fight a battle that you know is not yours. You're not yeah. the one that started this battle. Let me, unless you owe your allegiance as well is to the truth. So it gives you an opportunity to choose. I mean, he gave me strength. He gave me strength, and he actually, this is for me. He actually enlarged my own cost because there's things that I feel like I cannot do, or. And I shouldn't do or nobody I've ever done there's mm -hmm. some sort of reason I shouldn't even imagine to do it but this now just opened up my own imagination that really there's nothing impossible yeah. I know it tells me all the time it tells us all the time that there's nothing impossible if we can think it we can achieve it but this demonstration in this 10 minutes video it just carries so much weight for me where I can confidently now love my friends love other people this is also about the truth again and again you know this is just demonstration of the truth yeah let them be be the only one if oh if i'm the only man standing let me stand but stand on that truth mm -hmm. jesus i just couldn't believe it yeah. i was so empowered yeah to listen to him yeah you know i had to, he did this <laughs> video yesterday and like throughout the whole evening and even overnight it was almost like there's a fresh air out there yeah you know? it's like we were we entered into a new dimension that's for me that was my conclusion i felt like wow this is practical truth right there you know yeah. and it empowers like my wife said it empowers you to also actually for me it empowered me to rethink you know is it really that i am that my allegiance to the truth because i personally looking at people who also just left before he made that video people who said oh i don't i don't follow this i don't agree with this you all have the right to do so but me in my personal state i would be thinking what but it's the truth how can you deny this it's so clear you know and it is freedom it is what you are looking for it's what you deserve but he's not saying that he's not even looking into that direction at all he's this is non-existent for him for him everything he focuses on is truth that first level, actually, you yeah, know, yeah. just spread the truth, be witness to the truth, and then let the truth work itself out. Yes. I mean, for me, this was the ultimate demonstration of that first level. And uh, it's, it's, yes, and you know, what Judy just said now, again, that's one of the things that surprised me about these things, because a lot of things have happened since we started this series, mm -hmm. and how people are taking it, is it did so many things over the last year. But this one is now kind of taking a new turn with people that were followers actually even going against him. And I was, I, I was just sitting, I always sit in my own, not quietly. I sit thinking, how can this person say this? How can this happen? And Dr. Sunday is just unchanging. He doesn't, he doesn't change. Yeah, and we're here. We can tell you. Yes. We're witnesses. He we just, will see. It's still the same. He doesn't even, <laughs> if you're talking about somebody and saying, can you believe this person did that? It's like... It doesn't even matter to him. They have a that, choice. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It's it's like it's not even in that world. It feels like we're living in the same Super house early. but different world. <laughs> yeah, you know, no reaction. No, it, it's taught me that the reaction of people or the reaction that people expect of you shouldn't have to be or that you've seen as an example should not have to be your own reaction. Yeah. Your reaction should be from the inside, yeah. not what is expected. Because I was even expecting Dr. Sunday to act in a certain way, you know, especially when I throw names and say, oh, can you believe this person is doing this? This person wrote this. It's like, yeah, so they can write whatever they want to write. I'm like, are you, are you for real? <laughs> you're not going to say anything? Is that yeah. all you're going to say? It's like, yeah, they have the right to write what they want to write. They have the right to say what they want to say. Believe what they want to believe. I am saying yeah. the things that I believe in. I, I believe in what I need to say. Mm -hmm. This is the truth. And I'm going to stand by it. And I, I also believe that they should also be 
in their own lane, you know, in their own understanding and stand by what they believe if that's what they believe. I'm like, huh? And uh, what are you saying? Yeah. But this is, you know, this is the same exact situation that Jesus found himself in. You know, when he was speaking the truth, people were rejecting him. People who followed him unfollowed him. Yeah. So it all happened before. So really, it shouldn't surprise us. Well, but it surprised me because surprised I wasn't in Jesus' time. I just <laughs> read it. Yes. But you would think that, you know, having gone th that knowing that there were people, even after Jesus, there were people like, you know, all the reformers that we can count. They're all experienced. But did that. you see them? Exactly. You don't see them, but it is absolute. It is the truth, and it always is the truth, and it will always say the truth. So we can learn from experience, from the past, from history, even though obviously we've not been in those times. But it tells us that whatever happens, you know, even if it's in the past or if it's going to happen in the future, truth will always take care of itself. And the yeah. best decision that you can take is to glue yourself to the truth. Because it will give you peace. And this is the practice that even is written in the Bible when the truth was set free. Right. Because we can witness to you guys that Dr. Sunday definitely is free. He yes. is absolutely free. free. <laughs> like, totally free. Yeah. You know, is And, you know, as the more I say this, the more I realize that, actually, I need to go through this truth series over and over again. Yeah. Because I still have so much challenges with it. I've lived a life where there's a set way to behave if somebody does something to you, if somebody will betray you in your own opinion, you know how to behave, to cut them off. If um, you hear something that you don't like, to react towards it, um, to move away from it. You know, there's so many ways that we've been taught or we've imbibed that were so wrong. And when I see Dr. Mm -hmm. Sunday, even though he's teaching these things, it's like I'm even hearing these things, I'm seeing him teaching it. And I myself, I'm not practicing him, but he's practicing it. And I'm surprised that he's practicing these things, this behavior, this mentality. It's not even, to him, it's not even like a, some, a behavior. It's just his, his ways. It's just his being. His being. It's yeah. just, and I'm, I find it very challenging. I must tell you that I really find this challenging to watch a human being. I think I'll be very frustrated if I was living with Jesus. I was, it was Jesus. <laughs> I'll probably yeah. be one of those people that say, ah, oh, I'm going to kill you. Slap them. <laughs> destroy them with your power. Strike them down. Oh, <laughs> it's really, I'll be one of those people. And I'm always saying, you should, you know, it's like, no, I don't feel like, and you know what? As soon as I start to open my mouth, I immediately I realize that you're not talking to a baby here. You're not talking to, to a child. This is somebody that knows who he is. Everything that he's doing is from the inside. It's not because of what you did or what anybody did. Yeah. He knows what he's going to do even before you decide to, to even mention the topic. He already knows. Even before you mention the subject matter or anything that you want to discuss, he already knew what his reaction would be. It's not a reaction that just came up and like you just reacted to it. No. So when people are doing things, it's just so calm. It's like not moved. And not because he's just standing, not doing anything. He's still doing his daily thing. Like, hey, how are you guys? How, are you, how is your day? This and that. And then I'll sit down and say, oh, I'm just reading this comment from this guy <laughs> on, on, oh. on Facebook. And he's like, oh, good. Okay. All right. And he just go. I said, oh, do you want to hear what? <laughs> and, then I, and then I go and I said, oh, I read this. He's like, oh, okay, good. All right. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine someone saying, you know what? Even if you pray against me, just send assassins, send this, do yes. this, do that. Yes. How can you say something I know, like that? even hearing that he's saying that, send assassin. I mean, some people were like <laughs> twitching, like, eh! like they've already sent the assassin yeah. already. They're twitching and saying that you don't know what I thought. I thought this, I thought that. I mean, you know what? He's giving me so much strength. And it's not mm -hmm. in the strength in just bead out there. It's in the strength also to have something that I live and die for yeah you know what am i living for do you understand mm -hmm. what i what would i die for yeah you know it may, this erase the fear of death from me totally because if somebody can come out somebody that has a wife that has children you know has a lot of things going for them and is willing to die and say do whatever try and send this try and this. What is you and this is somebody that is even making impact in other people's lives. Yeah. So what am I doing? You know, it also makes me feel so strong that if I'm convinced about something, I should be able to die for that thing. Yeah. That's a huge lesson for me that 
is willing to die if if he has to. They said, even if I have to die, that would be great. Mm -hmm. You know? I have to die for the truth. <laughs> I'm looking, I mean, I, mean I, I, I don't, be, I can't <laughs> believe it. So yeah. that video, guys, if you see a video that is titled, To My Friends, Don't Cry For Me. <laughs> you need to watch that video. It's only 10 minutes. So you're not going to be sitting on it for ages. Just get inspiration for it from it. I saw it live when it was made, and believe me, I have watched it more than ten times. Mm -hmm. Just listening over and over and over and over again, like just yeah. that video. I don't know when I'm going to stop watching it, but I'm constantly watching the video. I'm just watching it for power. It's like my own. How says who says that? Have you met any leaders apart from the ones that you've read about that have been and gone? Have you met any live person alive? Maybe we could discuss that as well, you know, mm -hmm. sometime. If you've met anybody like that, yeah. that is bored in that way and also practice what they say, then please let us know. And we're getting a lot of love from our friend from here in Ukraine. You know who Yuli that is? That's Yulia. Yulia, how are you? <laughs> I hope you're okay. Thank you so much for the kisses, for the blushes, for the power, and from the, the love, from the hands, cry. and the... Oh, Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much. So, who do we have here that said something? I live for the truth. Thank you, Aisha. That's true. We should all live for the truth. Topsy Gift, how are you? DDSA is indeed a dead man. I couldn't stop sharing that video. Honestly, Topsy, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, if you were here while while he was making that video, you would not believe it yourself. You know, standing in front of a person that can say those things, out boldly without any it's not it's not even reading a script this is yes, just from I was gonna him say, it was just it it just came out it's of like, like nobody knew inside of him nobody knew what was gonna happen yes. what he was gonna say for I, one word one word each word is to me is like a bomb bomb bomb, <laughs> bomb. and i was just sitting there I, I was standing and i was standing thinking am i in the world <laughs> universe or is this like are we sleeping okay is this somewhere or else? Does he know what he's saying? Like, okay, mm -hmm. we should probably rehearse this or something. <laughs> I mean, I, I was just thinking, am I in the world like Earth, Earth, or with somewhere else with some other people? And you know, is this something happening? It just changed the whole, whole dimension. It changed the whole air for yeah. me. It changed yeah. everything. Just being there. So, Topsy, yes. You shouldn't stop sharing it. I want yeah. to share it. I want the whole world to be this way, to be this bold and so convinced and only have the allegiance to the truth. You know, that would be a super, super world. Yeah. Um, Topsy's gift is saying hello to us. Thank you, Topsy. Oh, Stella, Stella, how are you? Shalom, Queen is MJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stella, guys. Stella. Oh. Hello, Teofilos. <laughs> Thank you, D. I'm saying thank you for Julie. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Thank you very much, guys. I think it's almost time for us now. It is actually time for us to go. I hope you've had uh, a good time. Well, it's, you know when I say good time, I just feel like I'm some sort of a good time girl, you know? <laughs> but I think by now you know what I mean, that I hope that this uh, hour has been beneficial to you i think i hope that it's been of value to you so that's what i'm saying not that i'm a good time girl i do like to have a good time but and i'm a girl so maybe i am a good time <laughs> maybe i am but in any case i just want to say that i hope that we've been of value as you have been of value to us in this hour so thank you very much for joining us please join us again in 58 minutes. Dr. Sunday will continue on the series. That's really the highlight of my day. Mm -hmm. Every evening, 9 p.m. Ukraine time, that's 7 p.m. Nigeria and UK time. Yep. So please join us. We'll be back. Dr. Sunday will be back. He's going to be the one that hosts the teach well, that teaches. We are here though. We sit down, we listen as well. If we have contribution, we contribute to it. If we don't, we just continue to listen and process what we're hearing. Yes. Usually, it's always me. <laughs> and the title of today is Paganism fo Focuses on Self-Love While Christianity Focuses on Love for Your Neighbor. 
Yeah. Okay. But I think you said it the other way around. Self love is not a bad thing. But oh, love for love self. Love for self. Yes. yes. Very important distinction there. Yeah. Love for self. self. Okay. So paganism focuses on love, love for self. self. It's not the same as self love. Self -love. Okay? Yes. So Christianity focuses on love for, for your neighbor. neighbor. Huh. So we're going to see you again shortly. So go and have a break. Have a Kit Kat. <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.